Hello, I'm it the Killer and Deacon. This is Minecraft. How to make a mini game world. Um, this is my way of making one. I don't know if other people would make it better or make a better way of doing it, but this is one you can do on the 360 and on the Xbox One. I am doing this on the Xbox One where it's a massively open world of 25 maps, but I've um, discovered I'm in correct survival. I have discovered. Uh, let me just get a map. Here. The entire map. It's all quartz on the floor. You want to make it so it's bedrock, and then it's whatever block your choice is. Unless you just want to build it straight onto bedrock, but if you do a floor like this, all you have to do is just the top layer or something like this. It's simple. Uh, this is the middle of the entire world. I've changed that block for a diamond one right here. What you want to do is then stand on it and make this your spawn area by just going here like this. And then go down to set world spawn. What you want is also the world in hard mode, you want it day, and you want all these turned off. All right, and then you want all these like this. Just give me a sec, because if the sun is moving, you want to stop it. No, nope, it's not moving, so this is perfect. Nice little, and nice. Right, so you're going to spawn around this at least uh, 15 blocks one way, 15 blocks the other way. Uh, without the center block, that will make it 31 blocks either way. But what I normally do is have the middle ones like this. Then I count 15 this way, 15 that way. And then you get like the right measurements. Um, if you've made the floor quartz, best not to count with quartz. And I like the counting fives because it makes it easier. So that's ten. That's fifteen. So this is to make your spawn area um, the right size so when people spawn in your world they're not spawning on the outside of it, they're going to be spawning on the inside. So you can be off hosting a mini game with your friends and if someone joins they won't be able to go anywhere far from where the spawn area is. So that's 15 on all sides, and now you basically just link them all up together. Um, now you do your wall out of whatever you want to build it out of. Well, I use quartz because it's fresh, it looks nice, and then I pick two different coloured wool or clay. What well, I like to use wool because it looks nicer, but you can also use clay. It's a little bit longer for them to break it, but they won't have no prim they won't have no permissions when they join the world, so yeah. Um if you um know me on the Xbox three sixty, um you might have seen something like this in one of my worlds. Because I have a minigame world where I um have twenty different type of minigames. I'm going to show you how to build mini games, not play them. Okay, so if she was helping me to play them, and then that probably be in the future when I can be asked to load it up. But for now, we're just building the spawn area. If um, you don't want to know how to build the spawn area, then just 
Don't bother watching. Um, so yeah. Right. So you want to build the wall up at least two more blocks. Like this. The wall is going to go much higher around the spawn area. But this is basically, I'm going to show you how to do my spawn area. I normally do in all of my mini game worlds and stuff. So, if um, there's something like, so if it looks nice but complicated, it's because it is. Um, if I could broadcast on the 360, I could do, um, I could show you my world on that, but I can't. So what I might do is kind of do a video on it sometime. But there's many games in that world where ain't finished, but they're in the process of being finished. Um, I don't know what mini game I'm gonna build for you, but any this is one entire thing straight through. Any episode, if I'm gonna split it up and make it into episodes, the episodes will not be announced as um, the episode it's currently part of. So if this this is part one, uh, the next one will be part two. I don't know where I'm going to cut it, so, yeah. Or I might just go up as one video. This will be on YouTube, and I'm broadcasting it right now, so people can watch it live. Um, I can't see the chat bar, so I won't be using it. So, if you are watching, don't. Don't type anything, because I won't see it. Right, after you've done that, you're going to want to get yourself some stairs. And then, you want to want, and then you're going to want to put it down here like this. This makes it so it's a nice border going around at the bottom. There will be a nice border at the top also. But this just makes it a little bit nicer. Because um, in this middle bit, it might look all white and stuff, but it is going to look like too much white, but it'll, it'll look nice at the end, trust me. Right. Now you'd go on to the top one and do the stairs around the top. You can basically do the roof whatever you want, but in this way you cannot a roof over the entire top piece. If you do that, people are going to spawn on top of it and then they can just walk away and go to any minigame and mess it up for you. Um, the minigames I tell you I will be showing you how to build are minigames where you play them once, you leave the world and you come back in. Type of minigames. So this is the middle, so what you want to do, or what I do, is I make a num I make the letter A N and then I put a um, A next door to it. A capital A next door like this. And then this side I put a D. Like this, so it makes the word and. So that and is perfectly centered. But what you want to do is make sure it's pointing towards the top of the map, where mine's sideways. But yeah, let me uh, quickly change that. I'm a bit like a perfectionist. Uh, I like things to be perfect. Uh, but if you don't like things like being Smack bang perfect and then don't worry about it. But I really should have checked before uh, putting the letter actually in. Is that all? Yeah. Because what you want to do is have people spawning in and have them standing that way, and then you know which way is top of the map. 
That way, if you're building in mini games and you're like, oh yeah, I need to go to the top of the map, you don't have to get out an actual map. You can just look at this sign and go to the top of the map this way. And it just start flying that way, you know what I mean? Right, so after you've done this, what you all want to do is just move that diamond block because you no longer need it there. Right. Just here, you want to come away from it here once, and then you want to count five. Now this middle one here, you want to put a name, like something to do with your gamer tag or what type of world it is. Like, who's the main person in the world? You put their name here, and then you put a friend's name right here. But I'm just going to use my name because it's my name in it. So you want to work out where the beginning of your name is going to be and where the end is going to be. So you basically can do whatever you want. Um, 